Hello, everybody, and welcome to Terry Kavanaugh's The Tiny Heist. So if you're not familiar with Terry Kavanaugh and their work, uh, they are the creator of Dicey Dungeons and Super Hexagon, as well as VVVVVV. This game released in, I think, 2017 on Itch and uh, 2016 on their website. It's playable for free on itch.io with a download and in a web browser on Terry Kavanaugh's website. So I've been covering quite a few recent releases, but this is just one that's stuck around in my brain because it's something that I've always wanted to cover, but because I stream primarily on Twitch, it's not really the sort of game loop that lends itself to a longer broadcast because it is a very short game. So let's dive into The Tiny Heist. Now, it is exactly what it says on the tin. It is a tiny roguelike about stealing things. We want to steal those gems, which are the little... Uh, yellow coin things, and there are power-ups that you can pick up, and keys, and you need to find the green, green key in order to get to the exit, except for a few specific situations where I haven't needed to. Most of the game is about avoiding vision cones, and um, avoiding cameras, and, well, trying to steal as much as possible. And for some reason, in this uh, bank or museum or whatever we're in where we are stealing things, there are shopkeepers that will sell you uh, bombs to help blow up the stuff around you. Now, as you'll see, we've just been detected. I have this uh, banana peel I'm going to place on the ground that we just picked up, which is a stun, and it's going to make him forget that I'm here. Um, now, of all of the items that you pick up off the ground are one-use activatables. So keep that in mind when, when using something. We do have uh, our way out to the exit now, and because we haven't been touched by any of them, we actually haven't taken damage. There's 15 floors in the level, and the goal of the game is to get to the 15th floor. When you reach floor 15... You escape with your ill-gotten gains, as I would say. Ooh, there's a drill over there. That lets us knock out a piece of wall. Um, although all of that is locked behind a second green key. And as you can see, these layouts become rather complicated rather quickly. So I need multiple green keys to um, escape from uh, whatever this place is. We have acquired our first piece of loot for this floor. Let's just sneak out of that room and let him keep walking in circles. So I'm assuming we're going to need that key. So I'm just going to wait until this guy does a full lap, and then we'll kind of get an idea of where I can stand in here. So as long as I follow him and do that, sneak down around the bottom here. So we can either go up and out, or I can take the um, more ballsy approach of trying to get the extra loot. And you know what? We're going to go for the extra loot. So I'm going to step into here, and it's going to activate everything. They're going to all know about us. We now have this drill, which lets us knock out a... a um, piece of wall in front of us, which is what I just did. They are going to all follow us, so maybe that wasn't that wise, but I can knock you out. I do take one point of damage for knocking him out, and then we can get into the exit. Was it worth it for the extra piece of loot? I'm not sure, but there is a shopkeeper here who has a pistol, who will interest us, who we can purchase this pistol from for three gems, so maybe it was worth it. We now have four shots in a pistol. Now, up here is a dog. The dog uh, has a little vision cone that kind of pulsates in and out, and if you get caught in it, it will chase you until the end of time. So, you know, obviously avoid the dog. <laughs> obviously avoid the dog. It's a heist game. Uh, let's wait for that. What I think is a camera to go away. Yeah. Okay, let's break that camera briefly and then jump up here. Although I think they're going to walk up to where the camera is. That's a little annoying. Are you going to turn around? Yeah. Not the way I wanted you to turn around. All right, well, it's time to try the pistol. Sorry, dog. Um. Hmm. I think I can just walk away from you. Issue is, I have taken some hits. I do have extra key, though. So as we run down here, we now have an extra green key. Which is quite useful, meaning the next uh, door we run into that has a green key requirement, we could just pop in there. We found some first aid kits. I'm going to use that first aid kit. Although right now I can't actually see where that camera is pointing. Okay, so if I'd moved forward, they, everything in the floor would have detected me. We're going to use the first aid kit again. Camera behind us is rebooting. This is, um, no bueno. If you walk in front of me, oh, okay. That was very close, but we were able to carefully with some um, strategic waiting and not doing anything, um, 
avoid absolute calamity. Um, and here we are back in square one. Um, hmm. Okay, so we will walk through that camera, dodge down here, and we got away with it. I love it when a plan comes together. It's definitely that kind of game. All right, let's... Oh, no, you're going to walk right into me. Aren't you? <laughs> okay, this guy. What a guy. Um, knocked him out, though, so we are okay for right now. There's uh, some laser detectors here. Let's just get that key. And this gem. See if we can't just get into the exit. Okay, well that's two. Looks like I need a third one. Fortunately, there seems to be a good number. Ooh. Let's just, you know, you didn't see nothing. Ah, oh, well that's not good. Um, hmm. Well, at least they can't notice us any more than they already did. So, half the doors are already open. I got the last green key. Let's get the fuck out. They're never gonna find us again. <clears throat> Hello, shopkeeper. Great, I'll take another pistol. So much for, you know, getting out of here with money, right? And this is where the floors start to get larger. Um, there, There is part of this game's level design that very much reminds me of... Uh, Sorry, I just killed the dog. That very much reminds me of the video game. Um, ooh. <laughs> that very much reminds me of a, a little roguelike that I'm quite fond of called um, Golden Crone Hotel because as uh, you get further in, the levels get progressively larger. And the growing level design of this kind of reminds me of that to a degree. Okay, you know what? Let's just run through things. We do still have two green keys, so let's... Oh. That is Tiny Heist, everybody. Go check it out. It is a cool little free roguelike up on Steam. Or not, not on Steam. Up on itch.io and uh, on Terry Kavanaugh's website. I, I love games like this. They just do not fit the kind of streams that I do. You could probably beat the game on your first run, uh, unlike me on my first run in, like, what, four years? Because that's, that's about how long it's been since I played this last. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like it on more free games and games that you haven't heard of, or not always free games, but games you haven't heard of, uh, go over to my YouTube channel and have a look. There will be lots and lots of games there and uh, various things for you to watch. Also, more Dwarf Fortress than you could reasonably watch in a lifetime. If you want to watch me play Dwarf Fortress specifically, or other games you haven't heard of, and you want to see my face while I do it, go over to twitch.tv slash blindirl, or uh, over to the YouTube channel for some VODs of interest, as well as if you want to support the work that I do directly, there's a link to my Patreon in the description. Thank you very much for watching this video. Check the game out, and I hope to see you in the next one.